Listen, if you've been struggling with being shy, having a lack of confidence, if you've been feeling like you are the tail and not the head, if you've been feeling overlooked, if you've been feeling forgotten about, girl, you need to watch this video because this video is going to be full of encouragement and motivation that you need to get you out of that mindset of being shy and being small and just putting yourself in a box. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and keep watching, girl, because this video is for you. Hello, is this thing on? <laughs> hey you guys, it's your girl Becca D and I'm back with another video. You guys, I'm feeling so good today. I just came from this beautiful event, you guys. I just wanna give a shout out to the Powerhouse Connect on Instagram, not even just Instagram. They have multiple platforms. They have a website, Instagram. I think they even have a Facebook. If you're a woman who's looking for community and looking for like-minded people who are driven, women of God, women of virtue, women of standards, I just want you guys to plug in right now to the Powerhouse connect i'm gonna link their instagram in the description and i'm going to leave the website down below as well because you guys need to tap in y'all i just had like the best experience and i just wanted to come today and talk to you guys about confidence because confidence is something that i've been struggling with a little bit lately it's something that has always i wouldn't even say lately i've always struggled with confidence but as of lately like i've been more aware of it and i'm really motivated to tap into my full its potential this year so I don't want to be held back by fear I don't want to be held back by a lack of confidence like I want to walk into the shoes that God made for me you know what I mean so my prayer is that that stronghold of lack of confidence will be released off of somebody by the end of this video whoever is watching this video I just want you guys to be expectant and just really hear the words that I'm saying because I really feel like God is doing something so big in this season through his daughter daughters and he's just doing something so powerful and we can no longer walk in fear we can't walk in in timidness you know in shyness we can't do that like we need to boss up put our big boss heels on okay period and we need to walk into our callings like it's not time to be playing like Y'all, the enemy is out here. The enemy is working. The enemy wants you to be too scared to tap into your calling, but God is calling you to something so much higher than what you could ever imagine. It blows my mind to even try to fathom the plans that God has for my life. Like, the Bible literally says, um, I have plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And it's like, to me, I hope in the future it just looks like stability consistency like being stable financially stable mentally stable emotionally whole I don't want to have to struggle I want to say struggle but it's like I don't want to live in a lack of abundance because God's word promises us abundance and overflow and that's what I want you know what I mean and I feel like for me thinking from the bare minimum like I never have huge expectations because I just feel like if I have huge expectations and I'm let down, then what? You know what I mean? But that comes from a place of doubt. And God isn't thinking about us like that. That's why his plans for us are always on such like a grand scale. Even if it's not like what you consider to be grand, for you to even touch somebody else's life, for you to even, you never know if you're walking down the street and you, you say hi to someone. That person could have been thinking about committing suicide and you saying hi to them made them feel seen. And it's like, that's such a huge thing. You know what I mean? And God's plans for us are just huge. So I really want to challenge you guys to be expectant this year. I want you to let go of fear. I want you to let go of the shyness. I want you to set apart some time and really seek God for what it is that he wants to do through your life this year. And I want you, once you figure it out, once he makes the vision clear and plain to you, I want you to really focus on that vision. I want you to really focus on what it is you need to do to get there or to tap into that thing. And I want you to put your big girl pants on. You know what I'm saying? I want you to walk into it confidently. 
you guys it's just so heavy on my spirit to encourage my woman of faith out there because i know that god is doing something so big to us in this season and i don't want us to miss it i'm determined not to miss it okay because baby last year <laughs> last year i can't have a repeat of last year last year was too rough for me like i suffered too much last year like this year i'm going all in i don't care if i have to suffer some more because i believe that this is the year that i will see the fruit of my labor and i'm holding on to that expectation from god and so what i'm going to do like even if I have to crawl through the mud, even when it's uncomfortable, I'm going to push myself. And I want to challenge you to do the same because I really believe that if you challenge yourself this year, if you tap into everything that God has for you this year, I just believe he's going to blow your mind. Like he's going to blow your expectations out of the water and just exceed them. I really want to encourage my woman of faith out there because I know that it's not easy. And I know when you're not used to things going your way and when you're used to getting let down, trust me, been there, done that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like when you're used to being let down, when you're used to feeling overlooked, when you're used to being the tail, you know what I'm saying? The Bible says you are the head and not the tail. But when you're used to just being forgotten about, you know what I mean? It's so easy to shrink yourself into this small mindset. And it's so easy to not expect much. It's so easy to stay stagnant because what's the point anyway? You know what I mean? It's easy to shrink yourself and just throw yourself in this tiny little box. But the thing is, y'all, God don't want you in that box no more. Okay? <laughs> God doesn't want you in that box. He wants you to think outside the box. He wants to blow your mind. The things that he has for you, eyes haven't seen, baby. Them ears ain't heard. No one has seen it before. Like the things that God has for you, it's going to blow your mind. You might be a family first. You might be the first generation to ever create generational wealth in your family. You might be the first person in your family to ever graduate from college like the things that God has for you baby the things that he has come in eyes haven't seen them people gonna be shocked when they see you doing what he called you to do and the reason why I'm so passionate about this you guys is because I struggled with a lack of confidence for so long but something is different this year like I refuse to keep struggling with it and I want to challenge you to get so passionate about living for God to get so passionate about tapping into your purpose that confidence can't even hold you back like what is that what even is lack of confidence like what is being shy I don't even know what that is <laughs> I want that to be your new mindset because everything that God has for you it's not gonna just walk into you and bump into you and boom here it is like no you have to go after it you have to put in the work you're gonna have to step into rooms that are uncomfortable to walk in but believe that God put a seat for you in that room believe that God made space for you in that room because he did I really feel like God is calling us a woman out of a place of shyness I feel like women we're so used to being cast down we're so used to being the tail and not the head we're so used to being minimized and shrunk down we're so used to getting like the bare minimum we're so used to being undermined you know what I mean is that a word we're so used to being underestimated that's a better one because I know that's a word <laughs> We're so used to being underestimated. We're so used to being told we're not powerful enough. We're not strong enough. I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to focus, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I feel like God is really calling us into a season of healing, into a season of growth, and into a season of walking into what he designed for us to do. The thing with me is it's just so hard to, to look past like, Oh, like everybody's gonna be watching. Uh, like that's such a big thing to do. <laughs> it's so hard for me to look past the fact that it looks big or it looks like 
I need to be super qualified to do something like that's what shrinks me down I always feel like I'm not good enough I just always feel like man like that's too big of a role for me you know what I mean but I refuse to live in that mindset and I just wanted to come on here and motivate you ladies to do the same because I really believe that this is a season of change this is a season where God is going to blow people's minds okay and he wants to use us he's chosen us like the Bible says that we are his chosen people he's chosen us we're handpicked <laughs> like we weren't just in there and just got scooped up with a whole bunch of other people like nah he looked at you and he said that one I want that one that one right there that's the one that I want to use for this purpose and that's exactly what he wants to do if you'll let him I wanted to motivate you guys encourage you guys to really let go of that that lack of confidence because God is calling you to so much more and where he is calling you to it can't go with you into this next season so I really want to just motivate you guys and once again if you haven't plugged in yet if you haven't followed them follow them on Instagram at the powerhouse connect it's located in Atlanta so if you stay in Georgia, this community is so great. And even if you don't, like plug in. Because I know they have lives, they have replays, they have videos. Like they just they're just full of encouragement and women empowerment. And that's something that I need in this season. And if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you need it too. So go ahead and plug into the Powerhouse Connect. You guys, let me get out of your hair. I hope you're having a great day. I hope that you're having a blessed day. I pray that God's favor follows you today and just surrounds you and I pray that you receive the comfort and the healing that you need in Jesus name so y'all catch you guys in the next video bye you guys